it's Caroline Wu here in Beijing. Today we are here at Beijing's Guanfu Museum to explore the artistic style and the charm of the furniture made during the Ming Dynasty. And join us today is the staff, the assistant director from the Guanfu Museum, Nova. Welcome. Hello, Caroline. It's nice to see you. Thank you Hello, so everyone. much. Thank uh, you so much for providing us the information about the displays here at the museum. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. So what you you probably would be wondering why we are looking at a whole bunch of cats here. They're so adorable. Take a look at what's behind me. There are a whole bunch of them, kitty cats, which are so precious and so cute. Tell us, Nova, why we have a lot of cats here at the museum. And actually, most of them, they were abandoned and became a uh, street cat. Then mm -hmm. later, they came to our museum. Some of them came by themselves. Ah. Then, and some of them, uh, some people send them to the museum. Then we collected them, give them a warm, cozy place. Yeah. Here is their villa. I would of. say this is the place that also would attract a lot of kids and youngsters mm. to come because definitely. the museum is a mm. definitely a place to be informed about ancient China and also today uh, the focus, the theme of today's uh, live streaming is about Chinese ceramics and the classical furniture, classical windows and doors. You're going to have a lot of fun. And I want to, I want to just point out one more. There's one cat over here that I really like. It's so adorable. It's uh, in white and gray over there. This one's lying in its own bed. So so cute. I just hope you guys are looking at it. Yeah, I can see it. It's inside this little cozy like bath. Okay. All right. I think uh, I think this you guys one can is see sleepy. It. Oh, this <laughs> one is so sleepy. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caroline. <laughs> Yeah, so for those of you who are loving cats, and let us know, okay? And uh, let's say hi to any of you, any of you who are watching, please say hi to us. Let's just refresh the page really quick and uh, making sure everybody is here and with us. We might have to go inside to refresh the page and then okay. interact with the audience. Sure. There might be, yeah, some signal problem. Let's go inside. Let's Go inside, and we have a lot to show you. We have a lot to cover today. Today we are going to mainly focus on the uh, classical windows and door, classical furniture from the Ming and Qing dynasty. So yeah, what's in front of you? I think this is a little castle. Yeah, this is the cat's pavilion. Mm, that, that looks like a, it's a castle over there, and there are cats oh. that are on duty there, right? Yeah. To, uh, I would say engage or interact with the uh, the fans, the the uh, visitors here. Yeah, definitely. And mm. uh, I think, uh, as far as I know, they have uh, like morning shift and night shift. Is that right? Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. So there are different kind of cats that would come out to see the uh, audience, uh, see the uh, visitors. Here we go. There we are. So the first exhibition hall that we are about to see. This is the uh, classic furniture um, exhibition hall. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. The uh, place is a little bit complicated. So let's uh, slow down a little bit. I just wanted to. I want. I just wanted to ask you guys about mm. this. Oh, this Nova. is a new one. This is a door. Yeah, th this is, is this door. really actually happening in ancient China that they are using this as a door for e the living room or uh, exactly they have this kind of settlement and uh, to separate the space and you you feels like you have a frame like a picture mm. and yeah I just want you guys to take a look. This is a round shape door, um, which is very unique shape, uh, yeah. you know, considering what we are having today. Yeah. It's, it's very different, very unique. Uh, this one, mm -hmm. this one, this also. pair of cabinet. This yeah. pair of cabinet, you can see. The carving is very yeah, the carvings. sophisticated. Yes, uh, it's called Qianlong carving, yeah. Qianlong craftsmanship, so made in the imperial workshop. Qianlong yeah. is the uh, emperor yeah, yes. uh, of the Qing dynasty. And you can see the dragons carving. Very sophisticated, very complicated. So you can see this is the uh, aesthetics value from the people, from the ancient Chinese in that period. Very, very, I would say, complicated or mm, sophisticated. Yeah, you mm. are exactly right. Qianlong mm. style, he fancy the new style like 
even Western style, mm -hmm. and uh, he like everything to be over elaborated. Ah, yes. Then now you can see the style. Yeah. So this is a pair of cabinet used to display in the palace, mu uh, in the in the uh, Forbidden City, oh, probably. Wow. And okay. their the material is Hongmu. Uh, mahogany, mahogany. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of hardwood, very precious. Very mm. precious. Yeah, and are they probably very expensive as well? As well, uh, say. Yeah, because <laughs> it's uh, displayed in the Forbidden City, which is probably used by the emperors or uh, people from social, like higher social it, status. Exactly. So, but normally only uh, the wood called zitan would have mm. carved like this way because. This type of mahogany is easy to break. Mm. Yeah, when you carve the details, it's a bit freckle. Mm. But zitan was very hard and durable. Oh. And this one could be a mode for later expensive, the one most important carving, yes. the pair of cabinet of zitan. Yes. OK, cool. Thank mm. you. Uh, thank you so much, Nova. And mm. I just wanted to say hi to our hi. Uh, Audience, hi Christina and hi Jesse. Hi, welcome everyone. Hi everyone. Hi Rosie, James, and uh, Danny, Ashley. All right, let's keep on going. Watch out, please watch out. Yeah, this uh, is uh, the museum of Guanfu, and uh, what you guys are looking at this is the uh, furniture exhibition hall, classic furniture exhibition hall. Yeah. What we're looking at the little chair. This is for baby. Yeah, baby chair. Oh, wow. Very cute. Look at that. I don't <laughs> believe it. They have a chair for baby yeah. in that time already? Ming yeah. Dynasty? Yeah, it's not. Uh, no, this is a mid Qing Dynasty. Mid, mid yeah, Qing Dynasty. Around 18th century. This is not a Western term. Long time ago, we already had this kind of baby chair. Um, wow. But this was not used for uh, civilian, for common people, it was for some. A cultured and rich people's Official family, sir. yeah, probably. Yeah. And uh, the material is not normal people can afford at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they use mortise and turner structure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a joint structure. You play Lego, Lego, right? Yeah. It's like that kind of toy. You Le have to Lego, know Lego yeah. and the uh, mortise and turner. They join together. Uh, never use the nail or glue wow. uh, to make this Interesting. furniture. Yeah, yeah. This what uh, what is great about Chinese furniture. Wow. And uh, here yeah. we did restoration. Uh, originally we can open it, but mm. now we can't. And here is a plaque. When the baby gets tired, <laughs> he can rest his feet. <laughs> That's so yeah. cute. I just want you guys to comment on what do you think about this uh, baby chair from the 18th century, mid, I would say, Qing dynasty? Yeah, Qing dynasty. Mid Qing dynasty. What do you think about it? Comment, let us know, okay? Mm. Yeah, I think this is so adorable. And then the baby gets tired, and they get to rest as well. <laughs> Little feet <laughs> can put on here. So adorable. Wow, interesting. Mm. Interesting information, Ova. Thank yeah. you. My uh, pleasure. And yeah, here. take a look over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this way. So this pair of uh, big chairs called official chair. Official chair, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's a place for officials to sit over here. Yeah, yeah, exa exactly. And uh, here is a square table. And inside, in the center, it, it is inlaid with a marble. Oh, OK. Yeah. Inlaid with a marble. And uh, so marble inside. This marble with uh, black and white, yeah. uh, strong contrast. Mm -hmm. This con was considered as the highest quality in the past. Oh. And uh, it's a bit upheaval, you can see mm -hmm. the shape. Mm -hmm. the, this was the craftsman meant to do it. Means family's fortune fulfilled of the house. Oh, yeah, interesting. There's mm -hmm. meaning to it. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that we see f in the furniture, in kind of painting, that they have meanings. A lot of, a lot of, I would say that have auspicious meaning. Yeah, yeah, or definitely. Mm -hmm. Like this family reunion, things like yeah. that. Uh, as you said, auspicious symbol here. We can see ah. the bat. You can see the bat. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, we do have uh, we do have the uh, auspicious uh, symbols over here, and uh, sometimes you would see peonies, and sometimes you would see uh, flowers or birds. They do represent longevity. For example, like a dragon, we have uh, you know that means like power or strength. So yeah, yeah you would see a lot of them here in the furniture uh, from the Ming Dynasty as well. Yeah, yeah. So let's keep on going. Okay.
All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. The, are they displays of the, uh, like in the room? So these are all ornaments or displays? Oh uh, yes, uh, now we entered another exhibition. So the wood type is completely changed. In here, all the furniture was made by Zitan. Mm. Yeah, Zitan wood was the most precious, most expensive uh, type of wood in the past. And it was mainly imported from the Southeast Asia, not growing dom domestic. Mm. And uh, it takes like a thousand years to grow. Uh, so it's very precious. Yeah, mm. we see Wendy are saying, Wendy is saying, wow, it's nice. People used to care so much about design and meaning. Exactly, that's right. It's very interesting that people in the past already, mm. you know, value the meaning of the furniture and the patterns and the, the I would say, the design mm. on the furniture already. Oh, okay, let's keep on going. Yeah. They all look like very heavy furniture in the past. Not easy to carry, right? Look at these displays here. Okay, mm -hmm. this chair, mm. now you can see, mm -hmm. uh, is made in China, but it has some Western connection. Oh, you can see here, mm -hmm. and this cabriolet legs is completely from Western. Why we have this kind of design? Because during the Ming and Qing dynasty, we have a communication with the West. Uh, that was an uh, Eastern Indian company who uh, promotes the uh, culture and uh, commercial trade between East and West. So they come to China to order many porcelain and teas. They also uh, come to China to buy some uh, chairs and they're made by hardwood because Western normally they use, they don't value about material, mm -hmm. uh, they, but they value about design. But Chinese people value about material much, much more. Mm -hmm. So they come to China to order the hardwood uh, Chinese style chair, but they also uh, added some their Western uh, element. Mm -hmm. So now we have this kind of uh, anti antique works of art combined with East and West. The, later you can also see from the porcelain at the, at the same period. Mm -hmm. It's not only beautiful, but also practical and also, I would say, not easy to break. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like a hardwood a kind of material that's uh, pretty stable, uh, not easy to break. Uh, definitely, mm -hmm. because the mortise and tenon, which mean a joint structure, make it stable, it distributes the, uh, the stress from all sides, and mm -hmm. at the same time, it's easy to fix. If mm -hmm. one, uh, one uh, piece of work broken, you can take them apart and fix it, fix oh. it and join them together. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, uh, they have, they can re when they join together, they can resist the, the change of the shape because sometimes wood change the shape. Mm -hmm. So it's very g ingenious invention. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I just want you guys to take a closer look about the carves, the carvings on the, uh, on the chair. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. The carvings, and this is uh, the chair that we're talking about. We've been talking about that has some uh, Western influence. Yes, exactly. Mm. Yeah, that is the chair. Mm. All right, let's take a look at which one. Uh, this this one, the table. Yeah, that's, this is a painting table. Mm -hmm. So far, it is the largest, biggest one uh, we put in exhibition all over the world. Uh, Qing Dynasty. This is this from Qing Dynasty. Yeah, Qing Dynasty. Is this for what? What is the use for? Is it for writing, for uh, uh, study, or for eating? No, it looks uh, like study. For sure, for painting. For and painting. Uh, yeah, painting. Oh. Uh, in the past, only cultured and rich family would able to uh, read okay. and uh, would able to have oh. the education of art. Mm. So only them, this kind of uh, like elite, uh, like scholars, then they can have this kind of painting table, which ah. for sure at that time was very expensive. Yeah, mm. so I'm looking at it, this is uh, having, uh, mm. oh, having the big dragon motives yeah. on, the, on, the, on the edge, if you, if you can see, this yeah. is the 17th from the 17th century, if you guys can see, there are dragons on the edge, yeah. Dragon motives. So they are dragons. We see a lot of them, a lot of them in the uh, de design patterns on the furniture of the uh, ancient China. Um, they represent strength and power. We see them a lot. Mm. And this looks like it's a cabinet for some. I don't know, displays? Yeah, right. For display and for restore the stuff. Mm. So uh, it's 
have the function of beauty of aesthetics also have the practical function practical yeah. value yeah. for sure yeah uh -huh. and uh, these hinges were uh, made by cloisonne enamel which is normally just copper but this is cloisonne enamel more expensive more precious and here we can see high relief of dragon motifs mm -hmm. and here is open carved clouds and ah. this is sculpted dragon head mm. and uh, inside the drawer mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah we have the clouds we have this is is it a lion what, what is uh, it dragon? It's a dragon dragon head dragon mm. ah okay interesting what, what does clouds mean clouds means uh, it's connected with the Taoism, means ah. uh, mysterious, immortal. Interesting, mm. very interesting. And it's an auspicious symbol. Yeah, it's definitely an mm. auspicious symbol. Uh, we have uh, Carla said, everything, everything is so beautiful and elegant. Thank you, Carla. Mm. Thank you. And we have Larry, we have Donna. Hi, everyone. Bobby. Hi. Michelle Cha, hi there. Jesse and James are all there. Okay, so we have James said, uh, Caroline, what kind of wood do they make uh, the chairs out of? Uh, a lot of the chairs that we were talking about uh, over uh, there, I think hardwood. Yeah, right? no, they all, all are hardwood. Uh, at the beginning, the the baby chair was uh, uh, mahogany, the uh, hongmu in China we call it hongmu. Yeah, and uh, uh, later we saw that. Uh, a Western and Eastern combined uh, element of that chair was made by a uh, zitan. Okay, zitan, zitan is a kind of it's material. It's a red sandalwood, kind of red sandalwood. Sandwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we have Carlos. Hi there. Carlos saying beautiful furniture work of art. Hello from California. Hi there. Hi. And also have we have Michelle Cha said, uh, Ni hao, Caroline, long time no see, exactly. This is, I would say, this is the first live stream after, uh, you know, we celebrated the uh, year of the ox. Um, we did a live streaming mm. just before the, just before the, uh, the new, just on the, on the New Year's Eve, I would say. Yes. Yeah. So this is the first live streaming at the year of the ox. Hello. So she said, how was your new Chinese New Year celebration with the families and friends? It was very nice. Thank you. And we eat a lot of food. Really appreciate that. How's your uh, New Year's Eve dinner yeah. with the family? Uh, new Year's <laughs> Eve, yeah, dinner with family uh, and uh, stay and enjoy my vacation. <laughs> nice, <laughs> very nice. Yeah, uh, what else, Nova? Tell us. Uh, we are looking at this. Uh, this looks like it's a uh, mm, Chinese ceramics. I don't uh, know. No, this is called cloisonne enamel. Okay. And uh, yeah, later we will see a whole exhibition is about cloisonne enamel. Oh. It's made by copper and uh, glass, different glass colored paste fulfilled within the space called partition. Mm. Then you fire it uh, in like uh, 600 and 800 degrees and uh, after you fire the color will shrink and you have to fulfill again until it food and you fire again and you polish them and the gilt and it, oh. it, it from the fire is like phoenix phoenix <laughs> yeah oh it sounds very complicated mm. it's like a takes very long time yeah yeah how long does it make to uh, how long does it take to do to complete this uh, uh to be honestly i don't exactly know but for sure it, it a good piece of clothes and enamel may take like a month, I oh. guess. Okay. Mm. Wow, they're complicated. Yeah. And uh, we are look. This, these are phoenix, right? Uh, I mean, sorry, it's a metaphor because metaphor. it's from the fire, so it's like a phoenix. Looks like a oh yeah. Ah, interesting. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Mm. And also the table. Yes. Also, this is also used for display. Uh, uh, it looks like it's something that would be put in the uh, living room, right? Uh, it's, it's a side table, actually. Mm -hmm. It's very convenient. When the table is not enough, you can add this table. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's full of practical value and yeah. uh, also very beautiful as well. Yeah, let's enter this uh, very interesting door. I, want you, I just want you guys to take a look as well. This is also from um, is the Ming Dynasty. Yes. Uh, uh, this, hello. this is uh, uh, yeah. This is the uh, exhibition of the Ming furniture. But before we talk about the uh, furniture over here, I just want you guys to take a look. at This door, very unique, and uh, the shape. It looks like it's a fan. Am I right? Look at this door. 
Am I, am I right, Nova? Uh, yes, uh, this is a new one. Uh, it's for only for the decoration of the environment. Oh, but this, this is not from uh, the, uh, the Ming Dynasty. No, no, definitely oh, okay. not. So I was, uh, <laughs> I was thinking you everything, enjoy everything, everything here. Everything here is from ancient China. Looks like you're stepping into um, the past of China, like uh, ancient China, the uh, old imperial China. Yes. All right, so this chair, this is definitely striking to me because I feel like uh, the ancient Chinese already know how to relax themselves. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. that I would say it's a couch. Like a it's a chaise lounge, or you can call it. Lounge? Yeah. So like it's like a beach chair, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lounge. They already yeah. know how to relax themselves. Yeah. This is uh, from um, a Ming Dynasty. Late Ming Dynasty. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'm looking at uh, these uh, introduction over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So these three mm -hmm. uh, chairs are foldable. 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 Yeah. Now you can see. Uh, actually, at the beginning, the earliest type of chair entered in China is this stool. Ah. Mm. The earliest, uh, earliest one is that. Yeah. One? This called uh, in Chinese called ma zha, mm -hmm. and so it's a folding stool, but not original from China. Okay. It was from the uh, nomads from the northeast, uh, mm. from the north. So at the beginning Chinese was not a nation sitting on the chair but the nation sitting on the mat. Later gradually uh, we adopted the chair living off, off mode then we become sitting on chairs. So because of this uh, stool came to our life. Yeah. Ah, okay, we see Jesse said, Jesse said, Kenny Yan tells you hello from YouTube, Caroline, thank you everyone. So yeah, today we have a lot of fans from different platforms. Hi there, thank you so much for, uh, keep on watching us, and today we are here at the Guanfu Museum, and uh, this looks like it's, uh, it's like a bed, or it's like a uh, couch? It's a couch bed. It's a couch bed. Yeah. Mm. It can be a couch, it can be a bed, and uh, here you can place a small table when you when the end. Oh, in the in the in between. In the, yeah, yeah. People can center. sit on on the side. Yeah, on two sides, and they drink tea and play chess. Mm. And also, I can see the uh, design of the dragons as well. You yeah. see a lot of them. Yeah, this mm. type of decoration called 100 treasures in lace is happened in late Ming Dynasty. Mm. Ah. Wow, 100 treasures. Uh, 100 treasures in lay, not exactly 100. It means many treasures. Yeah, yeah. many treasures. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> All right, let's keep mm. on going. So, yeah, this is also very um, unique to me. Why this chair, it's, a, it's, there, it's empty in between? Uh, actually, here is a set of uh, a chairs. A, a set, not this, they are not chairs, they are a uh, stool, a set of stool, but we did oh. restoration. You know, all these kind of furniture, when they came to our museum, was condition was not very yeah. good. We have to do restoration, but very easy. Ah. You remove the lacquer first and take them apart and clean the dust and uh, fix the broken mm. uh, mortise or turning pieces, then join them together and weave in the mat and later use wax polished. So it's become like a ah. new again. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay, and this is a, that's a bed? Yeah, it's a canopy bed. Oh. Yeah, this is a canopy bed. So it's a very uh, expensive uh, furniture in the past. It displays the family statues. So mm -hmm. anyone, anyone's home who has uh, this canopy bed must be very uh, cultured and rich. Yeah, but normally this is for uh, in the woman's chamber in the past. Mm -hmm. So and you can see many flower and dragon symbol. Uh, designs. Yeah, dragon and winter sweet mm -hmm. and uh, peach means longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and here we have uh, auspicious clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. On yeah, the on, edge, the side, on the side, side rail, and, and uh, you can hang the curtain or even quit in the winter, so you have a small private space. Yeah, mm. wow, very, very nice, mm. very practical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so we have uh, James, uh, have, we have uh, Peach, <laughs> hi Susan, and have Sunny, hi Sue. Also, we have Michelle. 
So as far as I know, Ming and Qing dynasties were the heyday mm. yeah. of the ancient Chinese, like uh, I would say the uh, furniture. Mm. Yeah, let me introduce to you. Mm -hmm. So uh, the best uh, to represent ch ancient Chinese furniture is called Ming style furniture. Mm -hmm. Ming style furniture is not specifically to Ming, but in early Qing, uh, later Ming, early Qing dynasty around 18th century to uh, 17th century to 18th century this period. So uh, the material are Huang Hua Li and Zitan, mm -hmm. and the style is simplest. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was told that it's elegant, beautiful, but also it's strikingly simple. Exactly. I think uh, in the Ming, Chi Ming and Qing dynasty, the uh, furnitures are strikingly simple. Yeah. It's a uh, it values simplicity, but also it's sophisticated. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the material, the the wood is very. Mm -hmm. Quality, yeah, yeah, very high quality. They use the best quality of the wood, Huang Hua Li and Zitan. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Now we see the very this cute one. mirrors. Mirrors. That's stand. for mirror. Yeah. That's for a girl or lady. To, yeah. For ladies to do makeup. Yes. Wow. They have that. Wow, that's mm. so interesting. But where is the mirror? Supposed to be uh, having a mirror. Mirror should be a bronze mirror, but we didn't ah, put inside. Yeah. Bronze. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Here we can see many drawers and you can play your lipstick and the cosmetic <laughs> inside. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. cute. Yes. So, it's, and it's also very easy to use as well, but it's just a little bit heavy it looks like, uh, right? It's also hardwood or mahogany? Yeah, yeah it's a uh, uh, Huang Hua Li. Huang Hua Li. Yeah, yeah it's, mm. um, they don't have to move by themselves. For sure they have servant in the past. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's so nice to be <laughs> living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a. It's, it looks like it's a restoration for the uh, ancient study. Yeah, for the scholar studio. Uh, mm. But we don't didn't have uh, enough space now. You can see, but we put few of them, especially this table. And uh, here we can see a table screen, mm. and uh, you can have a little bit of privacy when you're writing. Yeah, you can do calligraphy. Mm. But yeah, there are some uh, books and the brush on the table yeah. can do the calligraphy. Yes. So actually in the real thing, supposed to be bigger, mm. that's what you're saying? Yeah, it's supposed to be bigger and oh. simpler. Simpler mm. and mm. bigger, mm. Oh, yeah. okay. So this is like, a, I would say, 80% restoration uh, of the real study room? Um, I don't think so. Uh, Maybe less? <laughs> no, uh, we don't count on that. Mm -hmm. So we just appreciate what furniture the ancient scholar use in here. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Mm. Also there are cabinets on the yeah, those cabinets. at the back. Yes. Over and there. here is a canopy bed. Oh. Mm. And also this is is it for 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 Hannah is a clothes hanger. Hannah, yeah. Oh. And the, you see the downside of that stick, you can put your boots inside. <laughs> Wait, put a boot? Yes. Wow, they have that already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can put boots let's see the bottom yes. of that um, the hanger, you can put boots, woo, and also on the top. So this thing looks like a swing door. That's for your, for clothing. Uh, for yeah, yeah, clothes. exactly. Over or there. clothing or uh, or scarf or yeah. or hats. Maybe? Yeah, anything. Yeah, anything. Mm. Wow. Wow, this is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good to know about learning all those things. Yes. Yeah, what else you want to tell us from here? This is another restoration of a uh, scene in ancient China. Uh, yeah, here we can see many lacquer furniture. It's mm. different with those Ming style furniture. They applied lacquer for this uh, this pair of cabinet. They use the lacquer. This lacquer is the red lacquer is lacquer added with a, a special material, so it's become the the mineral uh, pigment, so it become the red. And here we can see the gold. The traced in gold inside mm. also painted pattern and traced in gold. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can see the color. Very delicate. It's a little bit uh, old. So is it when it comes mm. uh, to the uh, museum? Does it look like this, or there's a little bit of restoration uh, or fixing is on top of it? Yeah, we just simply clean it. But okay. you know why the main style furniture is mm. the top? They represent the best quality because mm. they not just simple beauty, but easy to fix and clean. But compare with this kind of lacquer, when the lacquer is a little bit cracked, mm. you won't be able to restore it. Mm. Once you restore it, it becomes the new, you know? Mm. Ah. But some people also appreciate this kind of crackle. For example, this one. 
here. The table? The, the side table? table? Yeah, the t side table. The okay. side table, the texture is like snake belly. Mm. <laughs> ah. That's how they termed it. Okay. Mm. Alright, let's keep mm. on going and okay. uh, let's go to the uh, Chinese ceramics. Uh, okay. Chinese ceramics uh, exhibition hall, which is on the other side, and we'll come back to this uh, exhibition hall. Follow us, all right? And uh, we see Michelle Chai is there, we see Vincent, and uh, Angela. Keep on going, and this way. So now we are going to the Chinese ceramics exhibition hall. There is one right in between. Yeah. Okay, before that, we have this one, maybe this one looks very unique. This one. Let's uh, take a look at this room very quick, briefly. Okay, Tell us what about so it. this uh, room the, uh, is a uh, cedar wood furniture. Yeah, so it's kind of hardwood, but uh, compared with previous Zitan and Huang Hualie, this is a bit. Uh, uh, not uh, pricey and uh, important oh. than them, but it's also very beautiful. You can see here the uh, four, four rose chairs. chair. It's called rose chair, or rose mainly chair. for lady because easy to carry. Ah, it's, yeah. it's very lightweight. Yeah, yeah, very lightweight. So this is the Jiqi Mu mm. material. Yeah, Jiqi Mu material. It's a uh, more affordable yes. to ancient Chinese. Yes, and the play mahjong here. Play is mahjong. <laughs> convenient. Also, this one. Take a look. Very unique shape of that cabinet. Uh, displays of the uh, Chinese ceramics. Yes, as well, very beautiful. But inside the ceramics are all uh, replica. Replica. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, right. When we, we want to see the real uh, objects, we go go to the ceramics. Yeah, let's exhibition. go to the uh, the authentic uh, mm. Chinese ceramics uh, exhibition hall, which is on this side. Let's okay, get on this going. side. And we see Gio, and uh, also Crystal. We see. Maria, hi there, and uh, also Dennis, Stain. Okay, we start from here. Okay, this side. China was not a nation invented the ceramics. Mm -hmm. It was Japanese, but refined it to become the porcelain. Yes. That we should know this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, ceramic exhibition from the Tang to Qing Dynasty, this is a typical Tang style. It's called Changsha Ware. So when we hear the Changsha, you can know it's in uh, Hunan, the capital of Hunan. And the design is a bit Persian style. Ah. Yeah. You see the ancient uh, metalwork inlaid with ruby and sapphire. But in here, we only painted on. Mm -hmm. on the on the surface yeah. this one looks very beautiful it looks like something that it's a bit modern i would say uh yeah is yeah the western is a there's a little bit of western influence as well uh, like no exactly no? this is a purely okay. local kiln called mm. dangyang dangyang yu kiln ah. it's famous by this deep carving contrast of the pattern on the and surface and the, there's peonies on top yeah, of it peony, beautiful. yeah beautiful yeah, peony i think it means power peony means uh uh, means uh, beauty and uh, auspicious and uh, uh, wealth. Exactly, mm. that's right. So briefly, what else do you wanted to tell us? Uh, oh, this one. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot to show you because we have uh, two, three more exhibition halls. So, so this one is called Prunus Vase. It's ah. very common shape in ancient ceramics, but it depicting uh, in the Tang Dynasty, this was used for uh, play in the temple and uh, uh, contain the water. So mm. after oh. you pray, then you can drink the water. But ah. in the Song Dynasty, the function changed. It become the uh, wine bottle oh, for uh, alcohol. So this okay. is a drunken dragon. <laughs> yeah, this is, looks like there's a dragon on it. And this yes. is the, from the northern Song Dynasty. Yeah, northern Song Dynasty is uh, 10th century to 12th century about. Mm. So yeah, we have a Michelle Chao saying, mm. is saying Kenny, which Kenny is saying hi to us from uh, Facebook. <laughs> so this All one right. is a lion-shaped pillow. 
Ah, yeah. this is a lion ship. Yeah, so you must have many questions. Why ancient people sitting the on this pillow. hot pillow? Yeah, it's a pillow. Yeah, for yeah. sleeping. Yeah, it's hard. Thinking about in the summer, humid and the heating ah. weather, then you can sleep it, uh, chill a bit, and also it also is a decoration. Mm. Uh, yes, because lion is auspicious symbol. But you know, lion is not original in China. It was in the Eastern Han in the Han period around. Second century AD, imported from Persian from Central Asia uh, as a diplomatic gift tributed to the emperor. Since that time, we have a lion, and the lion dancing is also is like a circus. Mm. Circuit in the, in the past. Later, then we have the human lion dancing. Ah. Yes, it's a Western thing coming coming to China. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit Western influence. Mm. So this. Is also a pruner's vase, but it represents the the beauty of the song, symbolism. Seriously, yeah, yeah, symbolism, and elegance as well. Yeah, but most beauty. simplest style is the most luxuriant style. Yes, in the Song Dynasty, we have the five famous killing, Ru Guan Ge Jun Ding. This is called Ding Wei, very understatement style. Okay, let's keep on going. So, what is the uh, aesthetics value back then in that period? Is it like a, the simpler, uh, the more valuable? Is it is it like that? And not just simpler, more uh, valuable. Mm. Uh, it has specific five killing the Ru Guan Ge Jun Ding must from this five killing. They have specific style. Oh. For example, the Ru. Uh, mm -hmm. This this must have the story with the emperor. Song Hui Zhong. Mm -hmm. So he ordered uh, this Ru Wei. So uh, it's not more than uh, 100 pieces existing in mm -hmm. the world now. It's a bit bluish, uh, yes. And uh, the, there are glaze. You know, glaze is this glossy texture on mm -hmm. the surface. Glaze added with agate. So it's become the Ru Wei. This is a dish. Yeah, yeah this is a washing. Uh, this is a dish for. For calligraphy, calligraphy, washing oh. of the brush, yeah, washing the brush. Wow. Mm. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Let's keep on going, and I see some colorful ones. Uh, yeah, Chinese ceramics on that side. Let's take a look over okay. there, because th these are very striking to me. The colorful ones on that side, right? Yes. This way, please. Mm. This one. Mm -hmm. So this one was used to display in the old summer palace and uh, made in Qianlong period. Mm -hmm. uh, on the above is uh, uh, deep blue and traced in gold, and on the bottom also, uh, so they make the vision, the balance of the color. But you know, uh, painted the gold on ceramics was Western. Uh, invention, mm. but later this culture come to China again. And uh, here in the center is uh, mm, it painted with uh, Fermier rose, the technique called Fermier rose, mm. very light and pinky color. So uh, here we can see the six flower uh, represent the season change. Six flower represent uh, the season change. Yeah, yeah. The chrysanthemums, uh, peony, and lotus, winter sweet. Mm. Uh, yeah, and so on. This is a Qianlong period. This is yeah. from the Qianlong period of the Qing Dynasty. Yeah, it was in the old summer palace. But when the Anglo France uh, army raided Beijing, yeah. and, uh, so they took them back to the western. Then later, uh, one uh, Chicago collector he passed away, and his descendants want to sell this again. So wow. they came to Beijing, caught, uh, they find the Hanghai auction, then we purchased at that time. Oh, mm. so it's good to know where it comes from. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the exactly. Region of those, uh, yes. Uh, Chinese ceramics. Mm. And the, what else you want to tell us uh, before we're heading towards the. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. That looks like it's a very big. Oh, this one or that yes. one on the, the, on this, the other side? This big one, yeah. Ah, yeah, take a look at this one. Mm. It looks like. Uh, is it like a celebration? Yeah, like a it's a fairy tale. Fairy tale? <laughs> yeah. They are playing a family party. So you can see here a male and female. Uh, they play in the fruit. They play in the flute. Flute? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, um, it, now yeah. you can see. Then in the center Grupo. is a phoenix. Oh. 
Yeah, so oh yeah, Phoenix. Yes, yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, right in the middle. Yeah, the story was like that. And uh, after the banquet, the, this couple, happy couple, just ride the Phoenix to the Western world, to enjoy the rest of the freedom of the life. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, but like. It's kind of like a birthday banquet. Uh, people uh, are celebrating. Yeah, but a actually, it's a fairy tale. It's, uh, it, it's a traditional Chinese story called "A Playing Flute Attracting Phoenix." Ah, yes. beautifully uh, done. This yeah. is beautifully done. Yes. Uh, this is a big for. Look, I'm looking at the uh, description over here. Hmm. Um, Qing Qianlong period. Yeah, Qianlong period. The Qing Dynasty. Uh, it's mainly for European market. This oh. type of only for export. Yeah, mm. so you can see the gold tracing is what a uh, European market fancy it with. Mm. And uh, we provide the easiest, uh, the beautiful story, like fairy tale, to let them understand, easily understand what China was look like at, a, at mm. that time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this kind of uh, play called Charger, okay. actually, is only for display. Now you can see the for Hannah, we haven't removed it. Mm. It's mainly for Hannah in the cabinet to display the their status. Yeah. Great information. Mm. Let's head towards the uh, ancient craftsmanship exhibition hall. Okay. Thank you so much, Nova, for the information providing us oh, here. Oh, my pleasure. On this, uh, in this side, uh, we are go going to go to the other side, which we are going to learn more about the ancient craftsmanship. Mm. And we are saying Sheila saying hi to us, and Sheila and uh, Julia and the Jesse. Staying, staying, said so detailed. Exactly. Thank you, Nova. We have audience are telling us that uh, the pr the information you provide is very detailed. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's good to know sometimes about the origin of where they come from, of those uh, ceramics yeah. and those displays. It's good to find out about those uh -huh, yeah. information. Keep on going. Let's um, this side, right? Yeah. We go from. Over here, we're on this side. This way. This way, please. Wow, look at this. This is a folding screen, right? Yeah, folding screen. Wow. Made in Kangxi period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about uh, 17th century. Yeah. Mm. Wow, so there are 12 of them. Yes, folding uh, leaves. Screens, 12 leaves. Yeah. Le these are lacquered? Uh, it's wood, uh, plank, and apply applied lacquer decoration. Yes. And uh, as far as I know, this is, this is the uh, actual birthday celebration. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Mm. Yes. So many people are come here to celebrate. Yeah, this, this is the ma main figure. It's uh, called Guo Zi. Mm -hmm. He is a very famous official in the Tang Dynasty. Around Tang Dynasty uh, is around uh, six, 600, uh, uh, 600 years to 900 years AD. So uh, it's an old story, but uh, this story inherited to Qing Dynasty. Mm -hmm. And so when a family display this, Topic of the Guozi celebration means uh, they wish their elderly, the old, uh, the family member have a longevity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it looks like it's a Chinese, very full of Chinese artic, arti full of Chinese styles, ancient Chinese styles. It looks like it's a backyard. Uh, it's like a garden. Chinese yeah, it is an ancient family garden. Yes, it, the the big mason. The ancient uh, rich family, they have a garden and they have many maids and many buildings. This is a thing very uh, realistic depicted. Yeah, mm. this, this classical garden, so beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we are, you know, in the next week, we are going to Sichuan and uh, we'll show some very interesting ancient Chinese garden. And you guys definitely should stay tuned. Okay, so let's uh, take briefly what what or the focus over here in this exhibition hall. Okay, this one is the uh, same, uh, uh, the same one in the Packingham Palace collection. Oh. Uh, this uh, at that that one was uh, diplomatic. Uh, British diplomatic came to China and Chano awarded him. Oh. And uh, this one is our collection. This mm. is so interesting. There's this Chun character, Chinese character, yeah. character on top, and Chun means. Spring. Spring also means longevity. Longevity. Mm. Mm. So there are dragons, 
on the, the edge. I think there are people, figures. Yeah, figures. And uh, this, you can see we have three layer, layer, layer of oh. color in here. So you have to make the wood core first and apply many, like more than 100 layer of uh, lacquer. Then you, when it half dry, then you can carve them. Then you have to have a good experience to know which layer is which color. So what it's very challenging. What is this used for? Uh, it's, a, it's a small box for the... Uh, for food? Snacks? Uh, yeah, for snacks. Looks like it's for snacks. Yes, That's especially, but only used in important occasion like ah. birthday celebration mm. or marriage, something. Ah, yeah, mm. because it's red. Because mm -hmm. red here in China... Mm. is very expensive. It's yeah. auspicious, means mm. auspicious. Yeah. So that's why in Spring Festival we see a lot of red color. Mm. Uh -huh. And these are all red. This is this. These are all like a, a series uh, no. of uh, displays. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, uh, lacquer only have very few color because it's difficult to mix with any other pigment. So they have cinnabar. Cinnabar mixed with lacquer become the red, and the charcoal mixed with lacquer become black. Mm. Yes. And but you can inlay with many material or mm. mother of pearl. Mm. I think jade. Yeah, jade. There's jade in, yeah, exactly. in the middle mm. for that. Uh, uh, yeah, the deal. The deal. Yeah. And, the and jasper mm -hmm. and uh, uh, shou shan stone and a different type of wood. This should be a uh, Huang Hali wood. I think mm. it's wood, yeah. yeah. Huang Hali wood, you're talking yeah. about at the bottom. Mm. Yeah, so different materials. And this one, it's also for food. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> food box. Yeah. Food chest with uh, treasures inlay uh, yes. from the early Qing dynasty. Yes. It has many layers. You many can layers of food, different kinds of uh, yes. snacks, uh, mm. food, buns, I don't know, things like that yeah. in it. It's just reminding me of the, uh, the image of a wife carrying this to uh, bring the food exactly. for the, hus the husband. Yes. This is the most ex exquisite, most uh -huh. lovely one yeah, so in here. Very beautiful, mm. yeah. Right. Okay, this way. Yeah, these are jade. These are jade? Yes. Th this jade cicada. Mm. Chinese believe uh, reincarnation. It's like ancient Egyptian, they have the beetle, right? Mm. So uh, this jade was used to place in the, uh, the aristocrats the disease uh, mouth. And uh, to means they will have the next life. Oh, okay. Their life never end. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on going. Yeah. And uh, these are all small displays, very tiny. Mm. Is it made of uh, jade? Jade. Yes. Jade pendant. I see some. Some yeah. looks like our jewelry uh, bracelet. Yeah. Bracelets and then jade and this table screen Buddha. very cute. Oh. Yeah, Buddhist statue. This mm. is a jade ornament. It looks like it's a screen. Very cute. <laughs> oh, look! When things are tiny, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah. So what are they? Are they for some practical use? Uh, these are only for uh, decoration. Oh. This is a bronze mirror. This is an incense burner. This is a wine container uh, called Gong, and this is incense burner. Mm. This is incense, but this one is the earliest made in Han Dynasty, around second century BC to second century AD. This one is a bronze camel inlaid. It's a Bactrian camel uh, inlaid with uh, silver and gold. Mm. Very exquisite. Very interesting. And you can use this to uh, support the brush. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Support when you write, when do the yeah. calligraphy? They mm. all have practical values here. Mm. Wine container on this side. This is the second one. The wine container. This one, bronze mirror. They used to look at themselves in the past. Interesting. That's also the contain water, liquid. Uh, yeah, this could be, but mainly for decoration. Mainly yes. decoration. Yes. yes. Wow, practical. Mm. Interesting. And these are purely gold collection. Wow, this is like yeah. a folding screen as well. Uh, this is a money, gold money, but very thin leaves. Yeah, and it writes the the maker's name Cheng Erlang, and the place, the factory called Tie Xian Xiang, oh. and the, the weights they also write be, they, because they want to uh, avoid someone make the fake money. Yeah. Gold ingot, yeah. which is in the mm. from the Song Dynasty. Yeah, gold Beautiful. leaf. Song Dynasty is a uh, tenth century to twelfth century mm. around that time. And this is a dangling hairpin. They use filigree technique 
the gold filigree and ah. inlaid with sapphire and ruby and it was for ladies interesting <laughs> this is a filigree, filigree inlay um, we did a little bit from another live stream it's very hard to do it takes a long time yeah, yeah. to do that very sophisticated very detailed yeah yeah let's let's mm. go let's go to the uh, commodity eh? department we okay. have uh, some some souvenirs probably yes. a place for selling souvenirs okay. to show you guys and uh, let us know if you have any questions, okay? So now we're heading time. towards a uh, place for souvenirs. So we have some souvenirs to sell, right? Yeah, here in this, yeah, this is our souvenir shop. Mm -hmm. And we have the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. And here we have some products. Uh, inspired by our cat director. Ah. Now here we can see the cats. <laughs> oh, oh, I yes. see. So there are some uh, because cats are the uh, directors of the museum, yes. or they are the uh, curators. They are working in here. They are working here. So there are quite many cats, yes. cat products yes. that are selling here. These are our fans, and uh, we have the mark. Look at that beautiful mm. cat wearing the ancient costume. The ancient beauty here. <laughs> very cute, isn't it? Beautiful, yes. Yeah, very nice. Here we see some uh, statues here. Yeah, statues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure, yeah, let's now on. heading towards the second floor, uh, which you're about to see the uh, exhibition hall of the classic <laughs> windows and classic doors. So, yeah, we have a video to show you, and uh, we'll be right back. And please enjoy the video. Okay. Welcome back. This Welcome. is the exhibition hall for the classic windows and doors. So as far as I know, Nova, I think uh, we were uh, in ancient China, the uh, windows and doors were influenced by the Han culture. Mm. And this is, seems like it's in the architecture world. Um, Chinese ancient windows and doors are the uh, mainly focuses on wooden, I think, wooden 
windows and wooden doors. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, the main material is purely wood. It's mm -hmm. different with Western, they use stone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, mm. yes. Yeah, so we are looking at this is a display of uh, wooden windows and doors. And then you can do, see this little bit display on the outside. You can see bamboos. It looks like it's a. Uh, it's like a garden or something. Yeah, it's outside. like a real scene. Yeah, like people. a real scene. Very yeah, realistic. Living in the room. Uh, so these uh, windows and doors are Qing Dynasty, uh, from Ming mm. and Qing Dynasty, mm. mainly from the southern region, the south of Yang's, uh, Yang's River region. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, that's mm. right. Uh, let's keep on going this way. Beautiful. It, that, it looks like the thing makes me feel like it's like cool summer. <laughs> right? Yeah, I hope, uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, there are some uh, um, designs on top of it. Yes. Does it mean anything? Uh, in this set of windows, the most uh, special part is here. Mm. It's a Taoism diagram. Mm -hmm. So it means this family, they believe Taoist. Yeah, so <gasps> this diagram represents eight elements. These elements uh, made the world. Uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, the sky and the wind and the fire and the thunder and the earth and the uh, mountain and the water, uh, these kind of uh, elements, yes. Oh, mm. Very beautiful. Each represent one element. Mm. Oh. So are they all same or they are each one of them is different? Uh, the they have de the detail are different, but uh, the generally uh, design. Yeah, because I'm looking at these windows, a whole set of win windows here. They are each one of them has a different design. Yes, yes. This exactly. one there's a vase on top of it. Yes, and that one looks like a, it's a flower pot. Yes, you are right. Uh, those details are completely different. The central oh. focus are di are different. The upper the, the upper windows pane this this place called this area called uh, the upper pane are different. Mm -hmm. We can see the lotus and the jade disc B and other things. They all are different. Very mm -hmm. detailed in design. Oh. Mm. Okay, let's keep on going this yeah. way. Wow, this place is full of windows and doors. You don't know which <laughs> door to enter and where to leave. <laughs> it's like a maze. It's very playful. <laughs> it's playful and it's like a maze. Yeah. You don't know where to leave because we have a whole set of doors in front of us. Which one to leave? Which one <laughs> are we supposed to exit? <laughs> yeah, no, and no problem. Just hold, follow me. Yeah, <laughs> just follow Nova. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what we're looking at, there are, wow, 20, yeah. 15, uh, 12 set of doors. Yes, mm -hmm. this is called partition doors. Kay. Yes, this partition door only for separate the space. And when you want to open it, you have to take this uh, panel and put it on the side. Wait, how do you open it? There's no handles on top of yeah, it. Yeah, uh, how do you open it? But, but so here, we don't use it to uh, actually <laughs> use it, though. It's for display. Yeah, it's only for display. But in the ancient time, mm -hmm. when people want to open it, you have to, it, normally they don't open it. You have to take this. Uh, panel apart and oh. put on the side, then you can okay. open it. It's not very convenient okay. to be honest. This is called belt panel. It's, oh. it's uh, with a uh, relief carving of 12 Chinese zodiac story. Mm. Mm. 12 you can find there are 12 zodiac of them here. and 12 yeah, zodiac 12 of them. Dog? Am I right? Uh, yeah, and this is a pig. Sorry. Pig, that's a pig. That's a pig. That's a rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. Yeah, here you can see the rabbit. Yes. Oh, wow. Very yeah. interesting. And then the tiger. That's hard to say, though. Yeah. Tiger. Yeah. This is the sheep. Sheep? Yes. Ah, very interesting. Fun. This is fun. And mm -hmm. uh, in ancient Chinese, already know what's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? The mon monkey? Then this is a dr uh, dragon. A, you it's can a see. dragon. On the background. Oh, is a dragon. over there. Wow. That is a story. Then uh, mm. he was very good painter. Then he painted a dragon on the wall. But when he paint the eyeball of the dragon, the dragon become the real and fly away. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And this one, uh, this ox? is uh, an ox. Yeah, uh, it's a buffalo. Actually. Buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Wow, very interesting. Yeah. Twelve so zodiac signs. Mm. In China, we say if you want to know a lady's 
uh, age, but you want to ask her directly, then ask her <laughs> Chinese zodiac. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> love it. I love mm -hmm. that. Now, the upper pen is depicting a, a auspicious symbol, and here we can see in the lattice is a windmill among the ground. Wind, windmill among the ground. Uh, so these patterns are cutting the light. When light comes into the room, the shadow cast on the floor is very beautiful. It's like spinning. Mm. So as far as I know, there are three climax of the Chinese mm. ancient architectural achievements, uh, including mm. Qing and Han dynasty, mm. uh, Tang and Song dynasty, and also Ming and Qing dynasty. Yeah, exactly. So, in terms of doors and windows, mm. I think Ming and Qing Dynasty has the highest achievements. Is that yes. right? Yes, is the Heide. You know more hey than me now. <laughs> <laughs> keep on, keep on going. Yeah, oh, keep going. These are yeah interesting scene over here. Uh, res restoration of the ancient China. So this set of windows, the special part of this is called uh, endless line. So ah. this line is continuous. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they made by small joints, small woodwork. So you have the design uh, mathematically correct, then you can join them in the end. Wow! Yeah. yeah. So I, as far as I know, that uh, not only the craftsmen uh, that would uh, you know participate a part of the design mm. and the work on the windows and doors, but also scholars would mm. they would be involved in the process as well. Uh, th yeah, that's the uh, Ming style furniture. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ming, Ming Dynasty furniture? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. And how do you protect those windows? Because it uh, seems like very delicate, uh, windows and doors. Yes, it's a shame. And uh, when our museum director, Mr. Ma Wei Du, uh, mm. so he went to the Jiangnan area, south of Yangs River, then people wants to build the new house. They didn't value about those uh, wood uh, windows and doors. They just abandoned them, throw away some of them even. Wow. So he collected them, and uh, some of them he also paid uh, and bought them back to the museum. And we preserved uh, these windows and doors in here, give them the stable temperature and the moisture. But they mm. probably do not know these are Chinese relics. Uh, you mean the, those people, the people who, who abandoned? Yeah, her, yeah, right. Yeah. They yes. probably do not understand the value behind those windows and doors. Exactly, because when uh, the the disaster, the war just ended, people were mm. uh, the life was not good, and then people were not thinking about the art, they're thinking about the life. It's yes. very, very mm. detailed, and you can see it's almost like carving on the doors and the windows. Yes, very detailed. You can see the uh, the patterns on the outfit, the the clothing. Yes. The hat, the pattern on the hat, and the this you can see small sculpted uh, woodwork. It was joined inside within the lattice to uh, resist uh, the change of the shape. Oh. Yes, and oh. also decorate the lattice. That's actually helped to support. Yes, to support the stable mm -hmm. stability of, of the lattice. Yeah. Yes. Wow, interesting. Hmm. They're all very unique and different, <laughs> and uh, you can see the marble in, yeah. in between this, uh, these doors. Those marble are our invention. The ancient ah. people, they don't inlay the marble ah. in, the win in the window or door. They need the light coming out oh, from yeah, the outside. Oh yeah, for sure, they need light. Yes, it's our invention. This mm. a marble called, uh, is excavated in Sichuan area called, uh, the Ya'an area called mm. Ya'an marble. Yes, very cheap because ancient people, they don't value this kind of uh, marble with many colors. They value about the marble with only black and white that kind of marble. But now we see it's very abstractive, very attractive. It's beautiful. Yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. very beautiful. It's mm. very uh, full of Chinese characteristics. Yes, it's like Chinese ink painting. Yeah, mm. beautifully done. Okay. Mm. Well, also, yeah, this is reminding me again, where, did, where do we exit? <laughs> this is very complicated. So many doors and windows. Watch out. Watch out your step, okay? Wow, beautiful. Look at the, the lantern that's right in front of us. Hmm. We have zither in between, yes. in, the, in the middle of this room. Yes, normally this zither should be placed like here, 
but mm. it's dangerous, so we didn't do it. Mm. Uh, and here we see a ten set of windows. Inside the lattice called uh, ice cracking pattern. So <laughs> each of them, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is very uh, uh, interesting, and each of them represent a winter. So mm. ten of them represent ten winter, means ten year. Means ten years? Yeah, ten years past means uh, remind people uh, time flies. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah. Let's get closer. Hmm. So time passed. So maybe starting from uh, there, that's uh, like the starting of uh, like the birth of uh, someone. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, no, th like these that. are uh, different figures. Yeah, actually. different figure different from figures? the ancient story. Okay, yeah. so I thought it's kind of like a, a story of uh, somebody's growing. Uh, no, no, it's <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> okay. Because and it's been ten years. Yes. Ah, so different figures. Yes. Um, I ice cracking, very interesting design. Mm. This look like it's ice cracking on the window. Yes, it reminds yeah. people treasure your time. Time flies. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I like I like that uh, <laughs> meanings. So yeah. us usually this kind of ice cracking windows only set in the, in the study room or reading room. Yeah, they mm. all have meanings. Very yes. Interesting. Yeah, they don't even uh, with beautiful looking. They also have meaning. Mm. Mm like that cool um, and is this the uh, it looks like it's a like a gallery here yeah. it's a long hall now we will see our highlight exhibition mm. this set of windows and this set of doors so in here you can see the carving is completely different very detailed and uh, here has many layers and uh, especially this mm, bottom pane it has uh, different story and uh, the name of the story also written and very detailed. You can see those detail. Mm. The trees, yeah, the trees and the the walls and the Chinese character. Wow. Yes. This is you. Uh, this is very famous story called "Use the boat to wait the elephant." Cao Song Cheng Xiang. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Chinese uh, idiom. Uh, yeah, it's a traditional Chinese story. Sorry. It means mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cao Chong is very smart children. One day, one, uh, a guy bring an elephant to him and uh, challenge him. To, uh, I want to know the weight of the elephant. So he put, <laughs> he put the elephant in the boat and uh, in the river. Then after taking elephant out, they just uh, weight the same uh, st stone in the, in the uh, boat. and. Uh, he know the weight. Oh uh, yeah, that's <laughs> so right. That that's right. Yeah. Exactly. That's a very famous story. Mm. In uh, happened uh, in, uh, that in, in the ancient in time. Ancient time. Yeah. yeah. Wow, these are so beautiful and full of uh, function, practical value. Mm, yes. And this one's barely. Are you able to see outside? Because you can see the lights coming through from over here. Mm. Right. Yes. Uh, because yes. here we we, we do not we are not be able to see very clearly because the lights can come in. Exactly. Mm, so it's full of, uh, you know, functional values. Yes, and, uh, just, just imagine practical. you have a house and uh, all setting is these doors and windows. Outside mm. is a garden and mm. it's like a dream place. Yeah, mm. Yeah, it's very beautiful mm. and also very elegant. So the, the sets of windows we're looking at, these are not uh, what we saw earlier from the furniture mm. uh, of the furniture in the furniture exhibition hall looks like they are more simpler. They're actually simpler, but here we see more sophistications. Uh, exactly. Uh, so this set of doors are most important collection in our museum, mm. and uh, the the main topic is the romance of three kingdoms. Ah. You hear the story? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, the one of the great, greatest literature in Chinese history. Mm. So, the on the belt panel. Uh, there are 18 stories from the Romance of Three Kingdoms. And here you can see depicting the antiques. Why there are antique motifs? Because ancient Chinese people believe who are able to appreciate antiques, who was more educated, know the taste. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting when you think about it. The craftsmen in the past, when they are working on the doors and windows, they have to think about the design. Um, the story, the meaning, 
they're like, uh, I don't know, for, for me, they're like scholars, and not only scholars, but also are artists. Yeah, yeah, you are right. In ancient, in the past, Chinese people, they don't value about this kind of work. They, they just despise it as a craft. But now we value about it. Mm. And uh, this is a scene of eating hot pot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like Very interesting. Hot pot. Yes. And then you can see here, this is the woodwork. Normally before we see only flower. Here is the scholar. Mm. Same with your eye level. Eyesight. Yeah, eye yeah, eyesight. Mm -hmm. and, uh, depicting the scholar doing, uh, playing very elegant things. They, they reading and they, they this is Play drinking. Instru instrument or? This is drinking the wine, but here depicting many crayons, so mm. means this is immortal. Okay, yes. all right, thank you. Uh, let's uh, maybe, maybe head it towards the uh, oil painting exhibition hall. Okay. Wow, this one, I have to uh, ask you about this, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what's this one. What, what is this door used for? It looks like very different from uh, the scholarly uh, like a scene that we mm. saw earlier. What's, what about this one? Uh, this one is made in north. The, all the, the past we saw those soft wood delicately carved windows and door are from yeah. the south. Huh? So this is from the north. Maybe that time society was not uh, very stable. There are wars. So they have to equip with this very hard and strong, heavy, uh, yeah, stable. heavy, stable, equipped. This is a pine wood equipped with, uh, mounted with uh, iron. Yeah, wow. Yeah, but this is not the uh, outside gate. This is the second door. Mm. Mm. It's really interesting So there are um, like a history uh, that, uh, you know, comes with it, with the doors that you're looking at, with the uh, windows that you're looking at. And there's yes. history and values uh, that's attached to it. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Interesting thing is this is a, <laughs> it's a small figure, small animal figure called Jiao Tu. This What's is uh -huh. the, the dragon's son, the youngest son, the ninth son of, of the, the dragon. dragon. Wow. And uh, this is the keyhole. That looks so cartoony. Yeah. And this is the monkey. Monkey means... Oh, this cartoon? Oh, yeah. this is monkey. Wow. This Jiao Tu likes quiet and is a good uh, doorkeeper. And, but uh, monkey is very uh, agile, very active. So both of them uh, is a good keeper. Like a okay. good, good com keeper. Yeah. Compl <laughs> complement each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you find the words I want to say. Okay. <laughs> There's a balance between mm. them, each other. Yeah, so let's keep on going this way. And uh, so this is the last exhibition hall, but uh, we are running out of time, so we are just going to be wrap up over there because it's a very interesting scene for children, I would say, for children to take photos. And uh, there are some, there is a scene of a uh, cartoon cat yes. over here displayed. For, for kids, it's a very interesting uh, attraction to come here to take photos and interact with the, the big like statue, cat statue over here. So take a look. This is my favorite thing here <laughs> in that museum <laughs> because, uh, you know, I would say they are curators or directors yes. of Guanfu Museum. Yeah, they work, the, the they this work is here. my colleague. <laughs> this is uh, Nova's colleague. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what it's saying that uh, but Miao Zui Shai means I am the most handsome cat. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, so cute. All right, let's take a look at this here. This is like a screen. Yes. Uh, it's transparent. It's for kids, or I would say, say I would say adults, or yeah. Although everyone, any visitor want to uh, come to our museum, they can take photo in here as yeah. a memory, good memory. Such a nice place to <laughs> take photo and also to learn about the information. Thank you, Noah. Always my for pleasure. For joining us today, we mm. visited the Guanfu Museum and we walk us through uh, things about classical windows and doors, classical furniture, Chinese ceramics, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for providing us all those val very valuable information. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so that, that should be it. That should be it pretty much it about today's live streaming. And uh, I'm Carol Langu, and we hope you had fun today and learned some fun facts about ancient China. And I'm Carol Langu, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, thank you. 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 Th
malo. Thank you.